Well, after years of ripping off families for millions by promising rent to own home deals that didn't deliver, two local women are now out of business and behind bars. Investigator Anthony Bailey has followed this story as it unfolded and was there for the final chapter this morning. Anthony? Well, Kurt, it's a story that we brought to you and we actually broke last year here on Eyewitness News. The ladies behind Desert Era Realty were arrested back in May, but today I was there to see their faces as they found out they are heading to prison. It was the day that many had been waiting for. Alice Canton of Desert Air Realty sentenced to prison. Alice Canton, also known as Alice Meyer, uh, going to state prison for two years. Uh, Ms. Meyer is currently 69 years old. From 2007 to 2009, Canton ran a rent to own home scheme, milking millions in property and cash. Our investigation began when Jennifer Holland contacted our tip line in 2009. She knew our situation. Her home foreclosed a month after moving in. Her $32,000 down payment gone. I knew she was lying to me uh, as soon as those letters started coming out. How many of you had a bad real estate deal with Alice Kent? Let me see you raise your hands. 24 hours later, we uncovered a host of victims. Canton promised homeowners someone would pay their mortgage until the house got sold. But Canton didn't keep her promises, but she did keep the money. In the spring of 2009, we confronted Canton running a hypnosis clinic on Stockdale Highway. Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony Bailey. I'm a reporter with Eyewitness News. Canton denied it all. Well, we can't find any type of record ever of any type of real estate licenses or business licenses. I'm not a real estate. I'm not a realtor. I'm an investor. Our investigation helped lead to her arrest earlier this year. Hallett and Anthony King relieved no one else would share their suffering. They've got her. They've got her. They got her. The Cantons ultimately took a plea deal. Millions stolen now must be returned. $270,000 to Jesse LaRoque. $452,500 to Anna Paz. $240,000 to Janet Rios. Howlett among dozens of victims in court. Put my dad in the hospital, took his 25 year sobriety away from you because of your greed. I don't know how, no, it's not funny. Passionate words setting the stage for the deliverance of justice some felt long overdue. Now, the pair was also ordered to pay just over $4 million in restitution. It's likely that the victims actually won't see a dime of it yet at all. In fact, once the couple is released or once the pair is released, and there's also no word on where they're expected to serve their time. But, of course, we'll be following it, and we'll let you know. For Eyewitness News, I'm Anthony Bailey. Kurt, back to you. Thanks, Anthony. And remember, if you have a story like this one you want us to investigate, call the Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929. Again, the number 869-2929.